so there my uh, green lady goes I sold it to uh, Mr. Tattoo and um, I hope she has an, uh, a happy life with Mr. Tattoo so it's uh, bittersweet but I needed to make some uh, room I got a lot of bikes and I wanted to, to have some room for future projects the happy thing about the visit from Mr. Tattoo is that he took his fat folding bike with him with, which had some issues there the bike is and the problem was that it uh, display when you switched it on all the lights came up but the pedal assist would not help getting the rear engine going so there was no assist from the motor um, there was an issue and that was the battery the battery that's this one uh, the keys were uh, missing so Mr. Tattoo went to a bike shop and they uh, just drilled the lock out and after that the bike didn't work anymore so the lock needs uh, to be replaced and I'm waiting for a new lock to put inside so Mr. Tattoo thought that this was the reason why his bike wasn't functioning but everything is okay inside of this and there is a voltage coming out of it because well the display does light up when you push on the power button after some searching the actual cause became clear because this is the brake interrupter and look it's completely broken and because the wires are touching then it gives a signal to the controller that you are braking and therefore there will be no motor assist so when we peeled these wires separate from each other the motor immediately started spinning so the real cause is this brake lever so I'll try and uh, well have a look if this is repairable otherwise I'll just uh, replace the brake lever with a new one Mm, pointy thing okay axle This is what activates the interruption. Okay.
Well, that's uh, probably an easy fix. Some solder and uh, we're good to go. Everything is uh, put back together again and it uh, fits in here nicely. Screw this piece back on to keep it in place like that. Put the axle back in. to get on so that had a nice snap to it okay I temporarily uh, put back the battery and switched the controller on and the brake interrupter is not connected now so it should spin the motor yeah it does now let me try and stop it with this brake lever yep it stops now put in this one the repaired one and it stops again yeah. and it stops so repair successful that's a uh, Good thing. I received a message that the delivery of the lock will be today. So let's do some preparation. And the preparation is, uh, or I can desolder these wires. Um, I know they can be hard to solder again because this is all plastic. And it melts uh, if you don't do it right but maybe I can remove these two screws and reuse this back part and then I don't have to desolder anything so um, I'm gonna take this apart and hope for the best The mailman stopped by with the new lock and the rear looks exactly the same as the one that is fitted over there. So let's try and replace the back end from the old lock to this one yeah, it looks the same I took uh, the core out of the uh, new lock and put it in here. It was exactly the same core. So everything should fit on the original uh, 
connector. Yes, like this. Put in the two screws. Like this. All right. Yep, display turns on. Right, and then get the wires inside. That's it. Let's check if it still functions. Yep. Comes out and it goes back all the way flush. So that's what it should be like. Good. Put in four more screws and we're finished. Oh, dit is de middenstand. Staat hij nog maar op de middenstand? Dus het valt mee. Ja, leuk hè? Ja, wat een ding zeg. <laughs>